YouTube, it's your girl Kaya. What's up, YouTube? It's Javon. So we're doing our we're doing our first mukbang, mukbang. homemade chicken. mukbang. You know what I'm saying? Chicken and fries, chicken and fries, chicken and fries. We ain't go out and buy nothing. No. Right now, but we with next cooked. mukbang, next mukbang, we we'll do it. Cook. Mm-hmm. So yeah. One at a time. Man. We cook. Mm -hmm. We cook, but next mukbang is gonna be a food, maybe like two or three food reviews ever. Cause you know, sometimes money be just. But you know, bake with some chicken and fries, and we're gonna talk. Yeah, you, you gonna hear our, you, our door is open, so you gonna hear our neighbors right now. Go for it though. Put mine now. No, I'm not. Not gonna hear them talk live, folks. That's why we don't get no sweet, y'all. Cause they be live and they be unnecessary. And they be very unnecessary. But. Y'all heard that the chair. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, we on um, in our editing our YouTube video that we're gonna drop today. And y'all gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of videos this week. Like, a bunch. Like, cause we're gonna be just throwing. We got a lot in the vault right now. So, we got over the weekend, we was at Kaya Auntie's house. So, we didn't really vlog that much. We was helping her move mm -hmm. to her new home. Yep. So, I don't know. I see if Hi, girl. I see. You know, you're gonna see it. Uh huh. But we got some french fries sprinkled with some old red season. And then we got some chicken marinated in some hot sauce with some chili powder. With some paprika and some old bay sauce seasoning. Yep. Yeah. Just simple. Something simple. Something quick. Because we was hungry. So, and then tomorrow we're going to have spaghetti. Something. Off the bone. Something light. Because we really been eating heavy all week. And when we eat, we fucking eat. We eat. As you can see right now. So, tomorrow, bam. This mother ain't gonna be like, a bunch about us, how we met, and what led us to this point in our life where we at. Because we really haven't sat down and told, told y'all how we met and mm -hmm. how I am now Mrs. Mm -hmm. So, you want me to go or you want me to go? I started off. So, y'all, I'm from California. Kyle from Georgia. I'm from Cochran, Georgia. I'm from Cal Victorville. If y'all know where Victorville is, the Ville, uh, that's where I'm, I really grew up at. But we could say Rialto and all that. But anyway. That's why you hear the different accent. You hear the country accent. You see, hear the city accent in me. Anyway, I came out here last year, June. Moved with one of my cousins to Dublin. Lived in um, a house. But me and him was just like, boom. We ain't seen each other in a while, but we grew up together. And we was like, but who is it telling me? Bro, come out to uh, Georgia with me. I'm about to run out of my mom's house. She leaving. Cause he was like, he was gonna be there by himself. He was like, I wanted somebody else. So I said, hell yeah, bro. Like get out of California, go experience Georgia. So I said, yeah. So I go out there, boom. Um, got baptized in August last year. Really got close to God last year in Dublin cause I had a lot of auto time on my hands. And most of the auto time I used to read the Bible to study and pray. Fast forward. Um, when he was in Thailand, like, he didn't say, like, when he, like, he just came out in June, he say, like, I got baptized in August, then he said, November, that's when, boom. Yeah, and then in November, that's when I met this beautiful, fine piece of chocolate right next to me. <laughs> so, how we met, I was working at Dollar General, and... I can't eat my food, because you got your elbows sorry, on the table. Sorry, sorry. So I was working at Dollar General, 
and one of Kaya's friends uh, was coming in there, kept seeing me. And she was like, oh, my friend. Like, Paul, my friend we was both me. going in there. Well, like when we was in Dublin, you know, I saw him. And then my friend was, her friend was like, my friend think you cute. I said, well, bet. Give me your number up. So we ended up talking that day. Okay, my turn. Go ahead. Thank she gonna tell you that one. So, like he said, we boom, 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 friend gave him my number. So we started testing. We first time, that first night, well, yeah, we did that first night. Yeah, it was that first night. I was still work. They had me working that whole day, y'all. Y'all, they had him working. Nah, no, Zimmer don't care. On um, a holiday, and I felt bad for him. And like you said, he was in Dublin. I was in the Cochrane at the time, but you know, me and my friend go to Dublin, and you know, do some stuff down there, chill, get Starbucks, cause I love Starbucks, and. We stopped in Dodge Jones on our way home. And I just saw him and I was like, he cute. But y'all know me, I'm scared to approach people like direct. Like I wait for them to come to me. Like if you want me, come to me, baby. I ain't gonna come to you. And so uh, he texts me and I'm like, who is this? And so he told me who it was. We got texting, got his talking. So when he got off from work, he FaceTimed me and then we set up a date and so on december third third a week 20, after that oh yeah a week after that which was thanksgiving week a week after my birthday well a couple days after my birthday and then we started talking like on thanksgiving and then we set up on a date on december the third went to my favorite a mexican restaurant right there in cochran mm -hmm. We ain't gonna know too far, man, too major. And he told, then, like, after that, we, you know, cheat chat that on the phone, and, like, we slipped on the phone, all that. And right then and there, I knew he was gonna be my husband. I knew he was gonna be my man. Nobody else is. Y'all, he tried to break up with me, try to, you know, just. And then, um, after that, he told me he was going back to California. Y'all, I literally lost my mind. I was like, no, you cannot leave me. Don't go. So, we had, then, the night before, the night of him dropping me off, he had to go pick his cousin up from Atlanta from the airport. Hey, Cam, let me see this. Hey, girl. And his car broke down on his on the way to pick his cousin up. And I stayed on the phone with him the whole night. And so I didn't like, get nowhere till four in the morning. He didn't he no, didn't get good. nowhere, no, no nothing, no hotel, a, no nothing. Triple a triple a didn't come, come like until like three, four o'clock in the morning. And I was on the phone with him the whole time. Who you know? All women ain't like this. Not at all. You don't catch too many women or girls standing with their man until the next morning. Even though you tired, you got to go to work. Oh, I had to go to work the next day, and I was tired. Like, because I had work the day before, and I was off that day. Because I think we had got paid that day or something. I don't know. And... I was super tired, y'all. And I stay with that man. I stay with that man all night. And I had to be to work at 11 o'clock that morning. So let me tell y'all about our first day, how I went. I went to the Mexican restaurant. Afterwards, she showed me around this racetrack. And then, well, we walked around at Walmart, Wally World. That's still our favorite store. That's still our favorite spot from the first, from my first day. We just go into Walmart if we bored, go in there, walk around. And then just two. Reason why we be walking in there, be looking at stuff we need to get. Three, we went to the um, college right there and just got out, walked around, talked, got to know each other. And really, I'm gonna tell y'all why she said I broke up, I almost broke up with her. Reason why, 
I didn't want to do another distance relationship. I I gotten I was in one for about two years, and I always promised myself I wouldn't do one again. I just didn't like how it was. I just didn't like the feeling. I just didn't like doing that long term, that long distance, all of that, you know. And just how the last one ended, I ain't gonna lie. I used the last, how the last relationship ended to uh, compare it to this one. So I did. I almost broke up with her before we went out to Cali. But someone was telling me no do it. Someone was telling me to not do that. And go with the decision and stay with her. That was the Holy Spirit telling him not to break up with me. Holy Spirit was like, I'm not convinced. That was me. God. So before I, I left. Can I, can I, can I finish? Yeah, go ahead. So we, the next day, after the car situation, we couldn't see no any each other, so all we did was text and FaceTime, call each other, like, every day. Every day. Every day, like, like, we had been together for 10 years. 20, 30, 45, 60 years, and we had just met each other, and it was like, if it's me, I kept saying, God, if it's meant to be, this is going to be my husband, this is going to be my man, and y'all, he's mine. I am Mr. Mrs. Hostin. And so after New Year's, he got a rental car because he um, had to go pick his sister his sister up um from the airport because she's getting ready to come back here and go back to school. And so we got together then and I met his sister and we drove from Dublin. To Alabama. All the way to Alabama in a rental car. And it was just ugly, chilling, vibing. And it was cool. And I was like, it was a, it was fun, like, just going on a road trip out of state. Didn't we got them videos still. We're going to put them up. We got them videos still. Yeah. And then after that, um, Monday. Did I go home that Monday? Mm hmm I went home that Monday because I had to be work that same day. And... Few days later, that's when he went back to Cali. I was sad, you guys. Oh, you do how I, uh, oh so head. when he came and picked me up, what well, days went up to that? Like I was trying to Facetime him and Facetime him and Facetime him, but he would never answer the Facetime. Like he would just kept re regular calling me and texting me like I'm doing something I can't let you see. And I'm like, what is he doing that I can't see? Like. Um, like, why well, I can't see. So I'm like, he kept saying, it's a surprise, it's a surprise, it's a surprise. Y'all, I hate surprises. Like, even when it comes to birthdays, Christmas, hey, can I open my presents today? Because I can't wait till 25th. That's, that's too far. That's too far. No, ma'am. I can't. And then on Christmas Eve, you only get it open two gifts. Two gifts. In my family. We're only allowed to open two oh, gifts. Nothing else, nothing least. And so, he came and picked me up. Was that the ninth? Yeah, mm -hmm. on the ninth. And so, when we got there, we went. After work. I got you after work. After work. After I got off work, he picked me up from my aunt. That's when he met my aunt for the first time. Yeah. He met my aunt. And my aunt really fell in love with him right then and there. And so. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all, excuse the neighbors. They, they loud. And we don't complain. But we love. I spent the night. And so when we got to Dublin, we was going to the moves. But the moves there had shut down because they was renovating. Mm -hmm. So we went bowling. Y'all, he beat me in bowling. Sad to say. Yeah. And then, so we went to the house, and he told me to wait in the car. Then he would have came and got me. So we got out. He went in the house, unlocked the door, and whatever. And he said, "Then, then that's when he came back outside and came and got me." But he blindfolded me. 
Y'all, it's pitch black dark outside. Like, I don't know where I'm going. Like, I can't see where I'm walking. And he was like, it's a surprise. So, we get in the house. He unfold me. Y'all, it was so romantic. We're going to put that in there, too. It was so romantic. He had rose petals going all the way to, the, to his room. Because he had a roommate. Like he said, he was roommates with his cousin. And... And when I opened the door, he had a sign, a card, and some chocolates. And my favorite chocolate. And a teddy bear and some roses. Mm -hmm. On the side, and a balloon. And on the balloon, it said, it said, Happy Valentine's Day. Even though Valentine's wasn't until like a month away. I wasn't going to be able to I wasn't gonna be out there. But he wasn't going to be able to be here for Valentine's Day. So he did it early. And go get me some. Oh, yeah. And he had a balloon that had Happy Valentine's Day and chocolate. Was it? It was his regular chocolates. Yeah, it was I put chocolate. Them on top he, of the rose petals. he put it on top of the rose petals. And I spelled out, Will you be my and Yeah, he spelled out, Will you be my girlfriend on the rose petals and chocolate and had it on the porch. And he had him the post, and he had me a card, you guys. Y'all, I want to cry. And he had me a little small. And y'all, this is Mr. Stuffy. So, this is my first Valentine's Day gift from him. So, next year will be number two mm -hmm. as husband and, and wife. wife. And January the 9th of this year, well, next year will be our one year anniversary. And our one year anniversary is on August the 29th. That's when we, we got, got married. married. Let me tell y'all the dates because I remember the dates. I know y'all say a lot of men don't remember the dates. I remember the dates. January 9th, when I asked her to be my girl. March 20th, I asked her to be, get married to me. You know, it was over the phone, it was distant. I don't care. I, I feel a little bit. March 20th. And then. June 7th. Okay. Then he left on January 19th. Like he said, March is this when he asked me to be his his wife, his 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 honey bun, mm -hmm. his snicker snickums. And then June no. Let me back up. January. No, 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 no. Um damn, what's the month? April April, May ish. That's when he made up his mind that he's going to come back ahead and stay for good. So, June, that's when we got our apartment. On June 7th, we got our apartment. And, yeah, and now we're here. In our apartment, now we're looking for homes. Our house is, this apartment ain't it. Totally. Now we're looking for a house, a three-bedroom, maybe two-bedroom. Two baths, a nice living room, nice kitchen. That's what we want. Big backyard, big front yard. Mm -hmm. Three door mm -hmm. go, go, go garage. One story. One we story. One story, y'all. I can't do, y'all. I have leg problems, and my legs aches. Like now, they hurting. Like they ache bad. Massages every night. And so, babe, give me massages every night. From my neck, well, from my head to my neck to my back to the booty. And down to my legs and my feet. See, sometimes like I don't let him touch my feet because I'm ticklish. But she be needing it sometimes. So but y'all, like I need it. So, yeah. Dang, baby, I'm thinking about it. ever since we met until now. It's been a lot. Yep. So, yeah, y'all, while we was doing distance, Kai was working two jobs, two jobs. Dairy Queen and Walmart. We ain't gonna put a name out there like that, but you don't say it now. Uh, and then I was working. Basically, I'm going to just be a real with y'all janitor, but I was getting 16 an hour, working 45 hours a week, 50 sometimes. Six and you ain't no good at it, Cockney. Nowhere in, in Jordan. Like I said, I was in Cali. So. Nowhere in Jordan. We planned. We saved up. Because I was, we were planning on moving her out to California. But y'all know the prices in California. We couldn't find nothing in our price range. We was trying to look for something under 
15 because I know I'm from Cali. I know the prices. I wasn't going to fool myself and say a thousand to try to find some. I'll say at least under 15, like somewhere in Ontario, somewhere in Rancho, shoot, somewhere even in um, Upland, somewhere. San Bernardino, but no, not San Bernardino. It's ghetto out there. Bad out there, bro. For real. Everybody that's from Cali knows San Bernardino getting crazy. Been crazy. But that didn't work out. And on top of that, they wasn't going to have nothing until like 2023. And we was both like, nah, we got to, we were really taking it serious. Like we got to be in the same state, same city again. We got to be living with each other. So that's when we started looking in Georgia. At first, we were looking at Cochrane. So they, was building, well. they was building new apartments. Then we were looking in um, Atlanta. Didn't find nothing in our budget range either. But then that's what we was like, oh, all right, around Warner Robins. And that's when we found these apartments. Got up on the um, lease, did the application, called the lady, and then she told us our day when we could move in. Yeah, it was three weeks before I had to come out of him. And the lady kept saying, anime, 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 anime. Y'all see what we talking about? I know y'all heard it. Y'all, y'all had if y'all didn't hear that, y'all gotta get y'all. Y'all gotta die hearing check. No, y'all gotta get y'all audio checked out. Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all hit but, up right now, right? And Bay was like, "Hey, if you should call a lady and talk to her and see what's going on." I called a lady twice, maybe three times, but same thing. Anime, anime. Thank the Lord yeah. she did move out the move out by the end of May. The thirtieth. Like the thirtieth, thirty first. Like I think she moved out on the thirtieth cause but I think that was a holiday, so she probably moved out the day before or like the day after the thirtieth. And she called us and said, Hey, we gotta do this, do that. Then y'all better move in. The day he got the day he came out here, she called him and said, hey, y'all want to come walk through, look through the apartment, make sure that everything's good. Blessing, y'all. And Lord, the lady tried to get us to move in then. That day. But we didn't, but but we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have nothing. We had the money, but we didn't have everything packed up from her house. Yeah, I had it because I moved from Cal, so I was, I was ready to get in. We just had to pack her stuff up from her. Y'all, I was packing, but I wasn't packing because it'd be some days I'd go in early, get off late, and then I had to go run over to DQ and do this and do that and do that and the third. And I was tired, so I really couldn't do nothing. Then my auntie was having the hell out of me just to fucking clean up, y'all. Sorry, auntie, but you, you know, you, you be nagging me. And so we finally, that day, the next two days after that, we just really just packed. I think we did really finish packing my room all in one day. Yeah, the only thing we had to do was break down my bed and take my TV out the wall. And, um, yeah, and then on the 7th, that's when we moved in. Mm -hmm. We got some stuff quickly, some stuff we didn't. We still in the process of getting things, but we're really not trying to get everything. Because nah, like we, we said, we win. trying to buy a home. So, I mean, so, we got a dining table now. We got couches. We got our bed. And that's the main thing. But I was like, other than that, like the office stuff. We wait until we get that house till we move. Yeah, we've we been really looking. We just to... looked at a house today. Yeah, we looked at one. Tell you that house was. We spotted one. Oh lord, that house. We spotted one, but we can never find nobody like the cause. Look, look inside, get the details, information on how to buy going by getting it. Um, so we hit up another realtor. She has been such a blessing. Um, even though she's seven months pregnant and she's still working. Mm -hmm. Is like an angel. She has been communicating us, communicating with us through the whole process, the beginning process right now, because we're still in like the looking stage. Um, but like I said, she's a sweet lady. Um, not gonna put her information out there or her name or number or anything. But she's she just started real estate. She just got her license, and for her to be on top of things like this is awesome. And 
Y'all, this house is sitting on some land. And Half the an egg, acre. And the, the house inside, the mm -hmm. it has some flooring have to be done. And, and, and some wall has to be painted. Carpet got to be taken out. We really have to work in there as a team. And we're going to do it. We're going to... We're gonna get in there, work, 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 do what we, we gotta been, do. We've been, that's what we've been doing since we met, working as a time. And we got to get it to that where it's our home. Like, we're gonna paint, redo the floors, re repaint the walls, Um, just make it our home, because it's our home. Mm -hmm. And we wanna, you know, invite people over when we get the house finish and stuff so yeah that's pretty much it yep, but yeah. we gonna we got some videos like i said now we sit here and trying to edit this video to upload it today like in the next hour it should be if it's not posted it's gonna be posted around like 8 8 30 ish and then we're gonna move on to next audit a video and that's gonna pretty we're gonna try to upload that one tonight or tomorrow because he got to go to work yeah, so we and i got to go to work so we got to get some sleep because we really haven't been sleeping to be honest especially like last that. week especially last week we ain't got but no when we was at my test baby we slept like little babies like newborn babies uh -huh. and i told my auntie i didn't even want to go home but i went and drive from cockham to okay. I want to drive from Carkin all the way to Fort Valley. No, ma'am. That's, that's too much gas. Mm -mm. That's too much gas. Too much gas. But, yeah. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And follow our social media down below. Or I'm going to put it somewhere over here. But, yeah. I got so. But, yeah. Yep, we're going to put all of that. So we just glad y'all enjoyed that mukbang. Y'all enjoyed that intro video of us and how we met. And now we married officially. And then we're going to be showing y'all around when we go house hunting. Yeah. We got so, a lot of videos, but we said put some in the comments, which I want us to do. Like I said, some Q&As, some challenges, some pranks. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Vlogtober is coming up, so. We're going to try to vlog every day. I'm not decorating for... October because I don't I don't celebrate my Halloween. Fault, I've got my contacts in. And it's, it's itchy. Sometimes now. they be bothering me when it's when I got them in and it's nighttime. Yeah, and so I'm a like the whole part of we're just gonna be decorating for Thanksgiving. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing doing Thanksgiving stuff for October and November because November is my birthday month. My, my birthday month. My, my birthday. So the whole for the first twenty days, we're gonna be doing something. We're gonna do. We're gonna try to do vlogmas. If it don't work, we ain't, we ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna do it. We ain't gonna sit here and lie to you because it's gonna be days where we skip, and I already know it. But y'all gonna have a lot of content coming October, November, December. January is gonna be kind of iffy because we, like we said, we just got married, so we're gonna be having family, family falling, um, flying out and come to stay and try to help us with the reception and you know get that booming. And then Hobie's birthday is the week after that, twenty six. So, so he gonna be the big wet baby. Two four, two four, two, Kobe year, four, my Kobe two, year. Two four, two four, two four, and yeah. So like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow us on social media, DM us some, some videos, and yeah. We're going to do it. And then too, we're going to have, we're going to have our, this main channel right here, our couple channel, mm -hmm. and we're going to have our individual channel. Yeah, y'all, I got the, y'all, I haven't posted on my channel in a fat minute, but we're going to, we, we, I'm working on it, I'm, I'm working mm -hmm. on it. 
But all right, y'all. Boom, right there.